taken place. Shirley, the small blind, bet her dollar. Jeff, the big blind, bet his two dollars. These blind bets are mandatory. They had no choice. Adam raised, making the bet four dollars. Alan folded. Barry called four dollars, and I called four dollars as well. Shirley, who already had a dollar in the pot since she was a small blind, called Adam's raise. Jeff, the big blind, bet his two dollars. With the pre-flop betting complete, the dealer pulls in the pot and then deals out three cards face up in the center of the table. These are the common or community cards that belong to all players. These three cards are called the flop. You hear that all the time on television. Here comes the flop. In the second betting round, the player who's closest to the left of the button and still in the hand, in this case surely, acts first. Unlike the first betting round, though, where the options were call, raise, or fold, now Shirley has only two options. She can check, which means to decline the wager now, but retain the option to call or raise bets made by other players, or 